do that. Now, let's work with the logic of the operating systems, Windows or Mac. If I have a trash can, I could dump stuff that I don't need into the trash can, and every so often, I can go back to my trash can and remove everything that's in it. So I could do the same here by creating an array which would function as a trash can, and inside that array, all the images that are stacked underneath that I don't need anymore are going to be placed. And then at certain intervals, I'm going to take that array and remove everything inside it. Thus, at certain small intervals, I'm going to make sure the workload on the CPU is considerably reduced and monitored. Okay, so I'm, let me create a new array. Another private variable. Let's call it trash can. Okay, what is it? It's an array. And let's instantiate it as well. New array. Nothing in it. An empty new array. Okay, so I'm going to go down, scroll down this code here. Just after I add the child to the stage, I'm going to populate this new array. So, how do I do that? Trash can, which is the name of my array, dot push. What do I push in it? This picture here. The one that I've just added to this page. At this point, I'm going to do a little trace to check what's inside my trash can. So, every time something is pushed into it, I can get the output as well. Object bitmap. Another object bitmap is going to be placed in it at five seconds. There, you've got two now. This is the index value zero of my trash can array, which is being populated in real time at the space of five seconds. Now, it's got four images placed into it. And it keeps going on and on and on and on. And it'll keep, it'll keep adding them. It'll keep adding them continuously. Okay. 